Immersive Tech presents Virtual Reality. Have you ever wanted to fly through the air but just didn't have any superpowers? Or walk around Mars but your spaceship happens to be in the shop? Or even walking among dinosaurs but prefer not to be the next main course? Well one day with virtual reality, you'll be able to do all this and more from the comfort and safety of your computer. What is virtual reality? Virtual reality, or VR, is a term that applies to computer simulated environments that simulate places in the real world as well as imaginary ones. It takes your current reality and replaces it with a virtual one. The first widely accepted digital virtual reality was created by the US Air Force in 1966 as part of their flight simulation training. However, traces of attempts to replace reality predating digital computing can be found as far back as the 1860s when 360 art through panoramic murals began to appear. Early examples of virtual reality had individuals wearing head-mounted displays, or HMDs, suspended from the ceiling because it was too heavy to wear. Ugh, so heavy. HMDs have since then gotten a lot lighter, however, HMDs are not the only way to experience virtual reality. Most common current VR experiences occur either on a computer screen, through stereoscopic displays, or in a full room immersion. Some more advanced VR simulations have started incorporating additional sensory information such as sound and tactile feedback. With today's virtual reality, we can still differentiate between what's real and what's virtual. Ultimately, one day, virtual reality will blur the line between the real world and the digital world. Think of the virtual digital world of the Matrix, the holodeck aboard the Star Trek Starship Enterprise, and even Tron. So what does it take to create a detailed 3D virtual environment like the ones we see on the big screen? A whole lot of math and tons and tons of digital information. So much information that we are limited by communication bandwidth and processing power. However, as technology becomes more powerful and cost effective over time, our imagination will be our only limitation. In the meanwhile, we can see examples of virtual reality becoming part of our everyday lives. If your life sucks, hop onto Second Life, create an avatar and live, well, a second life in virtual reality. If you're bored of browsing the web in 2D, set your sights on the virtual world web then. Have a particular phobia you've always wanted to face? Head on over to USC's Institute for Creative Technologies where they perform exposure therapy for an array of phobias and PTSD treatments. Immersive Tech sees limitless potential for VR in areas of entertainment and the arts, education, and health. Imagine instead of watching the movie Avatar, being in the movie and experiencing the full sensation of flying. Imagine being able to create your own avatar in a virtual environment like Second Life and interact with others and literally walk a mile in someone else's shoes. Virtual reality is finding its way into the training of healthcare professionals from anatomy instructions to surgery simulations. Imagine being able to walk into a museum and being able to ignore the do not touch sign and touch what you're seeing. If a loved one was about to have major surgery, wouldn't you want your surgeon to have a chance to practice first in virtual reality? Wouldn't you want a doctor to have as much and accurate information as possible? These are all examples of future applications of VR. Before you know it, the physical and digital world will become one. There is still a lot of growth for virtual reality and with future development of VR, it will open new doors to new experiences and new ways of existing in this reality and the next. This has been a presentation of Virtual Reality by Immersive Tech.